Oh, how are you? I'm going to do the second part. Hope you saw my last video with, um, talked about Daniel 7 and the beasts. And today I want to continue with Revelation 13 and look at this last beast a little closer. The first four beasts are gone. The only thing we have left now is the last beast. During John's time, um, the fourth beast, okay, was there. The three beasts were gone. So that's why John only describes the last beast. The last beast out of the, the sea. I'll talk about the beast today out of the sea and not, not going to go into detail or into any description or reading of the second beast out of the earth. I'll talk about the beast out of the, the, the sea and then the whore on top. Because Daniel saw the little horn on top and that little horn is the beast. I mean, is the um, Babylon the Great. So, well, let's get started then, because I want to read it. I don't want to just refer to it. I want to actually read it. Because we need to read it, Dave. I mean, we need to read it over and over and over and over. Not just once. Now we start with 13 and it says, oh, first let me tell you this. If you have not watched the video that I posted um, or the link in, in my last video in the description box, please go there. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it on the bottom so you can watch it first. I want you to understand chapter 12 of Revelation before you go to chapter 13. So I'm going to read chapter 13 today. The dragon stood, stood on the shore of the sea. And we read the description of the dragon in chapter 12. And why did the dragon stand there? Because right now the dragon has transformed this last beast into his look alike. If we compare the looks of the dragon in chapter 12 in the looks of this beast that comes out of the sea, it's the same. It's a dragon look-alike. And that's because the dragon transformed it and made it into his empire. I say that all the time. Our system is not of God. It's a worldly system. It's of the dragon. Okay? Satan, it, this is Satan's world. He is the ruler of this world. And if he is the ruler of this world, he will use the, not use, but he, he's actually the owner of these, uh, these political systems. And we need to understand that very clearly, especially today. Because there's still many people that think we can do something, you know, with the voting and uh, one one side is better than the other, and we can create this political system. That is wrong. Yes, we used to have a very good political system, but it has already been infiltrated by, which we look today, Babylon the Great. And we're not looking at the system that we are today. We're looking at the beast out of the sea, which if you watch my last video, is Europe, the Holy Roman Empire, or today, Europe, the European Union. That's what this beast out of the sea is. It can't be any other way. There's only four that will last to the end. And the Roman, Holy Roman Empire, or Europe today, European Union, will last to the end. It's the last one. There is no Antichrist anywhere. 
they have they will have world dominion they already have world dominion really and they're trying to attack everybody else to make it a world of uh, dominion but let's read 13 because that's what my intention is today the dragon stood on the seashore of the sea and i saw a beast coming out of the sea it had 10 horns and seven heads that is the beast of, of daniel Ten horns, seven heads. We didn't see the heads in Daniel. And ten crowns on its horns, and on each head, blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear. That means, oh, and mouth like that of a lion. Okay? So, this beast also has the characteristic of the previous beasts. Okay, they're world empires. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. Where does he get the power and authority from? From Jesus or from God? No. From the dragon. It's the dragon's system. One of the heads of the beast seemed to be having had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. In other words, and a lot of people make a mistake there, the beast is not Babylon the Great. We don't see that there's a little horn right now, do we? No, because that little horn will be looked at by John in chapter 17 closer. He actually has a magnifying glass and he sees clearer what this little horn is. But here he doesn't describe it. He doesn't see it. He doesn't go into detail of it. You have to go to 13, I mean 17. Okay. So when we are looking at the heads of the beast, that's nothing to do with Babylon the Great. Nothing. It's the political system here. It's Europe. So Europe's head or Roman, Rome, Roman Holy Empire, which, okay, was wounded. Do you know of any time when the Holy Roman Empire was wounded? It doesn't exist anymore, does it? Or at least that's what they're saying. When was it wounded? Well, it was wounded now, first in the First World War. That's why they brought in the United States to fight their war. Because they were absolutely in the, totaled. Okay? They were totaled. If England would have not brought in the United States, they would have been all devastated. They couldn't allow that, so they brought in uh, uh, England, I mean America, so they would at least win. And believe me, Europe was toast, was very much destroyed, wounded, almost dead. And then they gave him another wound, blow, and that was the Second World War. Same scenario. That's when they got a head wound. And then after that, it had to heal. Okay? And today, what do we have? The European Union. And it is actually healed and came out even better than before. Before the, the horns, they were fighting each other. And, and they were not sticking together very well. Now, I think they're more united than before. So this is when the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast followed the beast, worshipped the beast. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast. And they also worshipped the beast and asked, who is like the beast? Who can wage war against it? Okay. Now the beast today, European Union, is part of NATO. And as part of NATO, they have quite a lot of power. And they think they're invincible. 
And that's why they start all these wars. And they're involved in all these wars with NATO. And that's why, yeah, the only one who's saying who can really wage war against is not only Europe or NATO, but the other people are afraid too. That's why nobody wages war, really, like Russia has started, but they're afraid to really go into full out, you know, full blown war because they're afraid. Number five, the beast was given a mouth to utter proud words, <laughs> blasphemies, and to exercise its authority for 42 months. 42 months would be 1,260 days, which is years, okay, according to the Bible. So that's how long they exercised total control. You can figure out when that was. It has nothing to do, it's <laughs> really, it. A lot of people are deceived by this number because they think, oh, see, that is, this is, this is the Antichrist. No, it's not the Antichrist. And see, they say, oh, see, this is what, and I have a three and a half years at the end. When this beast has total power. No, this has already happened. It has nothing to do with three and a half years, 1,260 years. Okay, which already are fulfilled because the beast existed now, what, almost 2,000 years, at least 17, no, let me, the beast existed 1,500 years, 500 and something is when the Holy Roman Empire was founded. Okay, so maybe that's, I don't know, where you would start. It doesn't matter. It really, it's just the destruction, I think. It opened its mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. Why did they do that? Oh, isn't Europe a, 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 a Christian nation? Christian, you know, like a Catholic and Lutheran? Yeah, that's why they slander the holy people. That's why they blaspheme God, because they follow not really God, but the Pope. It was given power to wage war against God's holy people. How did they do that? I thought the Pope did it. No, the Pope only gave commandment. These people are um, heretics and therefore we're going to kill them. But the worldly powers always had to kill the people, set them on fire, uh, torture them. The worldly government did that. That's why they waged war against the holy people to conquer them. And it was given authority to every tribe, people, and it was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. People, this is what happened. The Holy Roman Empire, Europe, always one of them had dominion over everybody else, whether it is China, um, the Middle East, because we know after the First World War, Ottoman Empire fell. They, uh, they, they defeated the Ottoman Empire. They had total control. The, the English and the, Fran Fr uh, the French, they took over the Middle East, the parts that used to be Holy, I mean, um, Ottoman Empire. You should know your history at least that much. So they had power over everybody. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. Worship means follow. Bow down. Bow down means, yep, we will follow you. What did they do during the pandemic? They followed the beast. All whose name is not written in the Lamb's book of life. The Lamb who was slain from the uh, creation of the world. Whatever has ears, let them hear. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity he will go. If anyone is to be killed, killed with the sword, with the sword they will be killed. That's saying, stay away from wars. Do not agree with wars. Do not go along with wars. Do not be in the business of uh, turning in your neighbor. Because that's what that is. 
leading in captivity. When you, uh, uh, you know, tell the government about your neighbor and they come and pick them up. That's what this is talking about. You don't want to do that. Keep your mouth shut. This is, you have no part in this world. You stay out of this world. And I don't believe that we should be fighting in wars either. We need to stay out of the government's business. Don't support any wars anywhere. And that goes specifically for the Zionist Christians. They support war that Israel is doing and it's going to come on them. He said, if you, you know, support the, the sword, you will be killed by it or your children. And you deserve it. So they're saying, stay away from that nonsense. But here again, it says that the inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. The beast is the political system and they will follow the political system. It's very hard to identify the system today. But what happened during the pandemic, everybody did, of course, what the system said. Right? And people try to figure out, oh, who, who, who is it? Where are all these uh, rules coming from? All these instructions coming from? That's because they're all ruled together. And we're going to go now who is actually controlling them. Because right here, we don't know anything about the little horn that's supposed to control those horns, those ten horns. So now let's go to 30, uh, 17. Because then we see who is actually controlling them. So we're going up the pyramid of power. We have, of course, the kings. Then on top of the kings is the little horn or Babylon the Great. And then on top is the dragon. That's the pyramid of power. Oh, where are the people with money? Because we always say, oh, the shadow government, people with power. Well, the people with power are right there with the government. Those are the merchants. And if you read like 18, Revelation 18, you hear about the merchants. The merchants are also um, controlled by Babylon the Great. We don't see it right now. But in 18, we see it better. But we're going to stick only with 17 today. So we're going to, Bab to uh, Revelation 17. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and said to me, Come, I will show you the punishment of the great prostitute who sits on many waters. With her, the kings of the earth committed adultery and the inhabitants of the earth were intoxicated with the wine of her adulteries. So the kings hoard with her. Then the angel carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. That's the beast. That's the beast of Revelation 13. It's the political system. She sits on top. John saw the little horn closer. He had a magnifying class and so whoa, wait a minute that little horn is not really a horn it is babylon the great it's a whore it's a woman and of course that's symbolic too for a system and it's a woman a whore symbolic for a church or a false church not a political system a false church because she is a woman she whores she commits adultery. She whores with false gods. Babylon the Great means she comes from Babylon, from the religions of Babylon. And she is uh, was passed down through each one of these political systems. The religious system was passed down from Babylonian to Persia to Greek. Greece to Rome. They all had the same gods, maybe different names, but the same 
traditions all the way into the Catholic Church. And that's why she is Babylon the Great. She is the Vatican. She is papacy. She is that religious system. And I don't want to go into detail today because you can read a little book that I will place on the bottom about, is it uh, Babylon mystery religion or something like that? I will put it on the bottom because I don't want to go into detail today. Then the angel carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and there I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was um, covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. That's the beast. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet. If you still do not believe it's the Vatican, this should really give it away. Absolutely. She was covered, dressed in purple and scarlet. And was... With, uh, and was glittering with gold, precious stones, and pearls. This can only be the Vatican, the Catholic Church. Nobody else wears purple and scarlet except the Catholic Church. Nobody else is dressed with purples. Nobody. This is a, this is a religious system. Now look at any religious system who looks like that. You know, so many people say, oh, that is Judaism. You know, Jerusalem. No, 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 no. This is not Judaism. Quit blaming the Jews for things they haven't done. They have plenty to carry. That's what I say. They have plenty to carry, but this one they don't. They don't need to be resp made responsible for that. They are whores. They are little whores. Okay? along with this Babylon the Great. Because they whore around with this Babylon the Great as well. So, no, they're little whores for sure. Because, see, this Babylon the Great comes from Babylon. And the, the gods that the Jews used, or used, they all came from other religions, from other cultures. They didn't make up their own gods. They took the gods from the other religions, whatever, whatever culture they lived in. Babylonians, they took them from the Babylonians. Uh, Persians, they took them from the Persians. Greek from the Greek, whatever. They did that. But doesn't make them Babylon the Great. They're not. It says here, there's a, a, a name written on their forehead. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes. Okay, yes, they are prostitutes. I mean, they're prostitutes. Um, who's prostitutes? Um, anybody who uh, goes along with the Roman Catholic Church. And actually, that is Judaism. That is the Lutherans. All Protestant churches, most Protestant churches go along with the Roman Catholic Church today. And they're still stuck in their and, and their false uh, religion. And the abomination of the earth. I saw the, the woman drunk with the blood of God's holy people and the blood of those who bore testimony of Jesus. She killed these people. This is not something that's coming at the end. This is something that has happened already. Today she is not going persecuting them by killing them. She is deceiving them. You're still misleading them and deceiving them. And I saw her as greatly astonished. And the angel said to me, Why are you so astonished? I will explain to you the mystery of the woman of the be and of the beast. She rides. She rides the beast. That means she is separate from the beast. She is not the beast. I know the Seventh-day Adventist people, they think that she is the beast and she's the Antichrist. No, she's separate. Please read it. The beast which you saw once was, now is not, and yet will come up out of the abyss and go into destruction. That's the beast. Okay? The beast 
was wrong. It fell, but then it came up again out of the abyss. Why the abyss? Because um, Satan himself resurrected the beast and changed it in his, in his likeness. The inhabitants of the earth whose name have not been written in the book of life since the creation of the world, will be astonished when they see the beast because, because it once was, now is not, and yet will come. So it will come again. This calls for a mind of wisdom. The seven heads are seven hills on which the woman sits. Oh, here it is. I was looking at that in the English, I mean in the German. So the seven hills on which the woman sits. The woman sits on seven hills. So people say, oh, Jerusalem is built on seven hills. It must be Jerusalem or, or Judaism. No. People, I know 100% that uh, old Jerusalem is not built on seven hills. Okay, maybe today's Jerusalem, not. Matter of fact, I think it was Josephus that was saying that um, it was built on three hills. As I remember, two or three. Two or three. No. Mm -mm. People are lying their heads off just to get their point across or just to get their false teachings or you guys to adapt to your Jeff Falls teachings. No. This is obviously Seven Hills was always known as Rome. And the Vatican sits on Seven Hills, even though it's not a hundred percent the way it is, because the Vatican is not sits not on all of Rome. But really Rome used to be used to belong to the whole Vatican. It's just right now it's a smaller portion. But Rome used to belong to the Vatican, the whole thing. Okay? So, um, there are also seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, and the other has not yet come. But when he does come, he must remain only a little while. The beast who once was and now is not is an eighth king. He belongs to the seven and is going to be his destruction. Again, this is all word play that really can distract us from what's really going on. All we need to know is that the beast, this beast that the woman sits on, is uh, Europe today. That's all we have to know. We have to know something about, of course, the history. And we have to know who this Babylon the Great is. It shouldn't be hard to understand. Then the angel said to me, the waters you saw where prostitutes sit are people, multitudes, nations, and languages. The beast and the tin horns you saw will hate the prostitute. Now, this is an interesting one here. So, the beast and the tin horns you saw will hate the prostitute. They will hate the uh, church, Roman Catholic Church. Why? Because they don't want to be ruled by her. In the past, it was the case. Okay, During the Re Reformation, they did hate the prostitute, and they brought her into ruin. But this is not the end. At the end... They will bring her to ruin and leave her naked. They will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That still will happen. For God has put it into their hearts to accomplish this purpose. Again, here is something that God created. Okay, it, 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 it's, We see it right there. God will put it in their hearts that they will do it. And will they destroy her. For God has put it into their heart to accomplish this purpose and by agreeing to hand over to the beast their royal authority until God's words are fulfilled. The woman you saw is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. 
That is not Jerusalem. Jerusalem does not rule over the kings. Okay? Nope, nope, nope. Not even today's um, Israel rules over all the kings. No. That is not the truth. They, they want to make it look like that to distract still from the Pope. They have been doing this all along. They try to distract from the Pope. Okay? So people don't see it. Why? Because, hey, if people understand what's really going on, the, the Pope would become a target. And eventually it will. Eventually it will. But not at this point. Eventually they will go against him. And they finally you know, realize what he is doing and how he is really controlling everything. Maybe then, you know, they will set everything on fire and burn the Vatican City to crisp. Because that's what prophecy talks about. We can see that in Revelation 18. is how Babylon the Great will be destroyed, but that's another story. I wanted to stick here with the beast. And I explain, of course, Babylon the Great. I wanted to read that because it's part of the beast. It's not the beast, but she sits on top, she sits on top and she controls the beast. People, I know when you're new to this, you're going to have to read this over and over again. This is not going to be making sense when you just hear it, especially if you come out of dispensationalism or other false teachings. It absolutely will not make any sense. You're going to have to read it over and over and over and over and let the Holy Spirit guide you. Don't, don't expect me to guide you because I'm not going to guide you. I can give you hints and say, read this, read this, read this, and follow the Holy Spirit. That's all I can say. Because I am not arguing with anybody. I will not argue with anybody. You believe what you want to believe. And you live with the consequences. The Holy Spirit is the one that is our teacher and he will lead us. Not me, not anybody else. That's the whole problem that we are having, that we're following other people. Blindly, we just, oh yeah, you know, she must be right or he must be right and that's why I'm going to follow them. No, you check it out yourself. What I have said today, what I have read today, you read it again and see what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Coming to an end, people, next uh, video, I will do more on the beast out of the earth. See how that fits together. All right, let the Holy Spirit guide you.